it get much higher. Everyone subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Hurry, you only have 20 seconds. Everyone make sure to subscribe. Everyone you subscribe. Only have 20 subscribe. Seconds. Hurry, 20 hurry, seconds. hurry. Everyone I guess we're just gonna have to get another hype train. Yeah. But how? how? Get a By getting what subscribers. Are we looking at right now? I don't know. Are we looking at two or are we looking at the three? We're stalling until Manny gets on from his interview, yeah, which has just now started. Keep subscribing though. Everyone keep subscribing as much as you can though, even though we're what do you mean stalling? Why are you we're saying stalling? stalling? Stalling. We don't have Mansoor. I'm gonna have to sing songs in there. Why? Um, what? for a donation. For a, say, for a donation. We're gonna be of ten dollars. What? Who said that? Yeah. 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 Because you didn't get me any subscribe, you got me one subscriber. There's two of you, and you only could get me one subscriber. We tried. We said keep subscribing. We kept asking. Hey guys, I have an idea. How about you subscribe like twenty ten, times, ten thousand then, million times, and times. then like yeah, just subscribe twenty times, then do it again and again and again, and keep going Have over that? until it's bedtime. Everyone agree? All right, let's see if that works. It's not working. Everyone keep subscribing. Subscribe, everyone. You have to subscribe. We well, need to I'm pay important stuff. And tell them that uh, for a donation of $10, I will sing whatever song they want in this karaoke stream. Oh, you will? Okay. You will, Daddy? What do I sing again? For a donation of $10. Paragon Korea, thank you for gifting a subscription. For 10 for 10 is your mom subscribed, Smarkus? <laughs> Gift her a subscription. She gave birth to you. Daddy? For ten dollars. Um we will do a karaoke yeah, song. No, I am singing karaoke no matter what. But yeah. for ten dollars. If you want to request really give a song. If you have a request of a song, it's only ten dollars. If you have a if you have a request for a song, He'll sing, sing it for ten dollars in two subscriptions. Woo! Or get into the subscribers. Everyone, keep subscribing. Also, subscribers can uh, anybody who's subscribed can request a song. And but anyone, once. And anyone who Everyone. subscribes. What's your Paragon Creed? Who we know gifts a bunch of subscriptions. Anyone. Yeah. Thanks, Paragon Creed. Uh huh. Anyone who subscribes gets to gets to request a song for this guy to sing for karaoke. Who's this guy? This guy. <laughs> but only the one. Is the camera right there. Yeah, there you go. Really? Yeah, the camera's right there. Subscriber? Can we get another subscriber? What? Can we get another subscriber? Not yet. Say, chat. How do you see you? Say, chat. How you guys doing today? This is the chat. This is the girl. How are you guys stream. doing today? How, how are you guys doing today, chat? Say, this is the the girls' stream. This we are the girls. This is a girls' stream. We're the girls. What are your names? My name is Blakely. I can't tell my name in public. <laughs> Smart, actually. <laughs> ARG Marco, thank you for the subscription. Yay. How, we, how, how can you see I'm how doing I'm good? Chilling. I had some chicken earlier, and now I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. That's what they, That was the answer to how are you doing, chat. see how many but i can see what i have oh it like pops up a picture mm -hmm. Ooh, really? my mic is really quiet yeah i guess it is far away from us <laughs> is that why you guys weren't subscribing yeah probably. Could you everyone us? keep subscribing keep subscribing everyone as much as you Don't can yell into the mic though why wait where do we yell into the mic what about now everyone subscribe. keep subscribing everyone 
and keep subscribing until it's night time. I am midnight. I am just a soft spoken gentleman. He'll do five karaoke songs. Yeah, he will. Yeah, I actually, uh, I, I keep on messing up my microphone because I moved the mic to a closet to do auditions. CM Origins, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Batista entrance song. Okay, we can do that. We'll make that happen. What's the entrance song? That's a, That was a karaoke request. Okay, we'll make that karaoke request happen. Probably when you gotta go to bed. Oh, why not now? I wanna hear it. Okay, why don't we go Jay to bed? Jay Bodian, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Daddy? What? Um, um, when you go to bed, can you sing it loud so I can still hear you? That would keep you awake. Rivers in I the know, Desert. I know, I wanted to. Rivers in the Desert. That's okay, I can do that one. Okay, we can sing Have that. Have you heard of this song? I know that song. Did you know they that? haven't actually requested anything that I don't know yet, so we're doing okay. Keep subscribing. You can choose a um, karaoke song. We're going to talk about DPW when Mansoor gets on. What's DPW? Uh, the show that we did this weekend. Oh, cool. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's yeah. your stream? What? Is it your stream? No, it was the wrestling. Uh, is it Manny's stream? How's the Death Grips lyric knowledge? Oh, look um, at the shirts. How about you buy some shirts in there? If I had an actual karaoke uh, version, I could probably do it. Everyone, make sure to keep subscribing. And look at those shirts. Don't you want those? <laughs> I don't know if you can buy them. Can you? Can you? What? Can they buy They can them? buy those shirts. Where can they buy them? They can buy it at fouryearwear.com. And if you live in the Florida area, then you can pick them up and meet us at the uh, at the pickup pop-up pickup at the Mega Ran concert at uh, Russell Rumble. This Friday evening. So I bet you want to buy those shirts. They're so cool. They are cool. I want one. <laughs> I co request whatever song you want. I request the one with the black background and the horn. <laughs> All right. Somebody keep track of these. I'll start with the Batista song uh, when they go to bed, when they leave. Everyone. Dear children, please, we're struggling. We can't keep subscribing. <laughs> Why not? Because they're struggling. Struggling. Because they spent all the money in their piggy banks. Oh. Well, just try to keep subscribing. Was that my theme song at New Texas Pro? I couldn't ID it from the footage lying around. Yes, in fact, it was. Everyone just keep subscribing if you can. It's my song. Made by the what great Lil V Mills. What's your song? My uh, entrance song. Your maximum male model? No, no. Our Maximum Male Model song will debut this Saturday at uh, Effie's Brunch. It's a big gay brunch. Da, da, da. Your beard is blended in with your hair. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> it's as long as this. Can you explain to the kids the concept of inflation? So um, everyone, keep subscribing. Come in. Sorry. Oh, it's probably mommy telling you to go to bed. You like shaking? What time is it? Everyone, make sure to keep subscribing. Yes. Oh my god. Go open the door. I think someone just bought one of your shirts. Come in, Ari. Ari, come Ari we need you. They're not subscribing not enough. Knock Ari, knock oh yes, if you say something to them. Here, Ari, here. Bedtime. Okay, just just be a grandma and say subscribe into the camera in Stop the microphone. Wait, you're, say you gotta come over or here. Else I'll punch come over you. here where the microphone is. Or you like oh, subscribe? I'm here. old. Do it for me. I'm old. Say subscribe on old YouTube and punch you. Or else I'll punch you in the face. Subscribe, mom. Or else she'll. My request: visual presence on Koku Shangri La Bud Star Bud Star Bud Star. You what? Subscribing. What? Okay, go to bed. Bedtime. Good night. Wait, why'd you say what? Good night, high fives. Good night, high fives. Good night, high fives. Daddy, why'd you say what? What? Why'd you say what? Because I just got a request that I don't know. What is it? Uh, Visual Prison Zankoku Shangri-La Bud Star Bud Star Bud Star. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll have to find out because they donated money. Bye! Make sure to keep subscribing! Yeah! All right, chat.
I promised you a stall. Here's the stall. Uh, let me uh, find the song. I need to first go into the lunchbox where I will wait for Mansoor. But honestly, Chad, how are you today? I hope you're well. No, you can't stop subscribing. What are you talking about? Thank you. I made them myself. Eating pizza rolls? I'm jealous. About to hit the gym? Yeah, I kind of had the same thing. Um, we'll talk about it later, but Mansoor made me take all the bumps in this match. Crazy. I don't know how it happened. I was completely and utterly cucked. It is freezing. That's why I'm wearing a coat in here. I'm doing good tonight, John Covington. I hope you're doing good as well. What's better, an Ook tattoo or an MXM tattoo? That's actually a good question. Probably an Ook tattoo because it's like a spiritual thing. Like, we could not be MXM in like three weeks. We aren't fully committed to being MXM for the rest of our lives, but I'm fully committed to ooking out for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, son? Yeah, MXM is a brand. Are we planning on working any Mania Week shows? We've been arguing about it. We're going to be there. We've got two conventions and two signings, uh, but I kind of want to do a show. So if the right show offers, then yeah, we'll probably do it. Because we're going to be there. All right, let me see if I can find Batista's theme song. It's the Takoyaki Titan here to brighten your days. Standing taller than Poseidon and I'm riding the waves. Stay out of the splash zone unless you're trying to get sprayed. And keep your eyes covered unless you're trying to get maced. So stay in your place unless your place is the sea. Then you can dive down deep under the surface with me. Yeah. Cause that's where all the cool fish happens. Where the yachts and the cruise ships crash and no cabin. So come on down to the cabin and see, man. The ocean is the dopest place that you can be, man. Girl, boy, woman, simp, shrimp, or a heat man. Everybody's welcome, even if you're a demon man. So shake your scales and flap your fins. And move your shells and clap your hands. Relax yourself and dive on in. Because you are now one of Jibo's new best friends. Mother Flounder. You was lost out at sea, but I found you. So get down to the beat, Mother Flounder. You was lost out at sea, but I found you. Mother Flounder. Well, well, well. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> You're a suit of war. Rage of war. So pack up. Go oh. home. You're through. I made you sad. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> you could, you know. Did they pay for this or no? Yeah, they did. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, then yeah. finish. No, it's over. <laughs> It's over. It's over. You're washed. <laughs> You're washed. Uh, well, here we are. Yeah, here we. Oh, let me get your. Let me get your video. Time is waging toward us. Uh, I need this to pop out. That should give you Mansoor, maybe. No. We're competing with uh, Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk right now. Yeah, and we're wow. not winning. <laughs> Desert Rose Manny is here. Yeah, they wanted us. Job Van Dam. They wanted us to do a duet of uh, Desert Rose by Sting. 
because there's an Arab man wailing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me hear it. Hold on, Desert Rose. I said Let's you could probably see. sing the Arab part beautifully with your excellent Arabic skills. Let me see. Arabic. Oh shit! I know this song. I didn't know it until I listened to it like halfway through. It's like. Yeah, I dream of rain. Of a... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I dream of Let me rain. read the lyrics. In Arabic, there's no. It yeah, just says. Li- it just says Arabic wailing. It says Ya Lil Ya Lil, Hadai Mada Tawila. Okay, hold on. I know that that means tall. Tawila means tall. Is that what everybody says what... when I walk by? I don't know what hadia hadai mada. What is it? Man sings in foreign language. <laughs> <laughs> what are the what are the lyrics to? That is not that's not Arabic, so I don't know what why is you it? would ask me that. What is it? That's probably I think that's Punjab. No. Punj- or or Hindi? It's called Arab Money. That is a totally different song from the one you're thinking of. What am I thinking of? Arab Money is. Da, 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 oh da, da, yeah, no, you're da, right. Ay ay ay, lipidayo, lipidayo, lipidayo. We Arab Money. So originally, um, Arab Money, the Arab, the Arabic part of that song it was from the Quran. Was Yes, it was uh, Quran verses, and they had to change it because uh, it was very offensive to do that to Busta Rhymes going like, yo, yo, we got that. We got Lebanese bitches. Was that, was that just black voice? <laughs> that was Busta. That, that's Busta Rhymes. No, that's yo, not we, Busta Rhymes. Hold on. I can do Busta. Hold on. That sounded like Exhibit. Um, I can do Busta. Hold on. Uh, what's no. the song that's like? Busta. To the psycho What thing. it is right now. Busta. What it is right now. Uh, give me some more. What's the song? It's like, give me some more. Give me some more. Uh, hold on. I can do give me some more. Just play, where the weed at? Give me some more. I don't <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, he says the N word a lot. I can't. Say <laughs> I it. I can't rap. It. Say it. Say Every it. Every line has the N word in this song. Say I can't, it. No, no, never mind. I can't do Buster Rhymes. I can't do Buster Rhymes. Who, who's, who's a black guy that you feel like you could confidently do? Is, this is like um, that always sunny bit when um I was literally like... <laughs> about to say what's the what's the lady from the um from uh what what the fuck is that movie? She's is a no nonsense show? black broad from the precinct. <laughs> what is that what is it what is that fucking show called? From what? Shield? The Shield? Is it shield? I don't know. No, I not the so. Shield. Is it the Shield? Yeah, it is the Shield. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? What's her fucking um, name? Ah, CCH Pounder. CCH, CCH Pounder. Pounder. Can you do CCH yeah. Pounder? All right, let me try to do CCH Pounder. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. CCH Pounder. Let me, let me see, let me see her. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's uh, <laughs> what the fuck is the line? Hold on. CCH Pounder. <laughs> it's, oh, it's like, what you it's, got me it's... doing for the TA? <laughs> no, no. Fuck. Hold on. I need to get the line right. It's it's God damn it, Dutch! No, damn, that's so bad. Hold on, I'm, I'm listening to it. Hold on. Are you watching to the always listening to the always sunny or the actual performance? Oh yeah, it's it's God damn it, Dutch! What are the errands do have us running for the DA? <laughs> that's CCA founder. I, I looked up the Shield cast. I shit you not, right? Yeah. It's showing me all these actors. And then in the second row, it says Seth Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> like actual Seth Rollins? No. Yeah, actual Seth Rollins. They, they, I think they saw Oh, because he was in The Shield. Yeah, he was in The Shield. <laughs> and he's the only... Like, I don't see Moxley or Roman here. It's just Seth. Maybe he did a... He guest spotted in an episode. You think so? I feel like that would be bigger news that a dude from The Shield was in The Shield. It was years ago. It was a different time. Well, can you do a Barack Obama at least? All right, let me try. <clears throat> Yo, what's wrong with the taxes? 
<laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, what's good? It's Barack hey, keep Obama. It keep it real tight, homie. It's your boy, Barack Obama. Yo, stunting on these hoes. Hey, dog. Hey, you know what actually is my favorite? Uh, uh, what the fuck is the guy? Red Man? Do you know Red Man? Yeah. Uh, he did an episode of uh, he did an episode of MTV Cribs that's fucking the best episode of MTV Cribs I've ever seen because he's the only guy to ever use his actual house and it's just it just looks like complete shit like he's like <laughs> hey yo come on in let me show you how I live and there's just like sprite cans on the floor and he's like you know I got a game and it's like a Nintendo it's like a Commodore <laughs> like it's like an old <laughs> the he's only playing, like, honest Pong. person he's like Pong. he's like yeah this is the shit. And he's like, let me show you my bathroom. And there's just like fucking like bottles of Clorox everywhere and shit. It's, it's so fucking funny. And he's, he, yeah. His, his album, what the fuck was it called? What, it's like, what the album or something? What the fuck is it called? How's it going, Mace? Who are you going to hit with those back, heavy back shots this weekend? You already know we're going to be pounding that bussy. We're going to be pounding bussy. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, we're pounding in Bussy. Uh, we're going to be in Tampa. If anybody is going to be in Tampa for uh, Royal Rumble weekend, buy a shirt. Buy a shirt from our store, foryourwear.com slash MXM, and set it for pickup, and you will be able to uh, meet us and take a picture with us and get an autograph from us for free with your shirt if you pick up from Mega Rand's show uh, on Friday. Paragon Creed will and be there. Yo, sweet. Yeah, and we're also going to be at the shows with, like, all our merch and shit. So yeah. come to the shows. With cash. Say what's up. Actually, at DPW, there was a bunch of dudes, or people, there was a, there was a woman as well, who said they were fans of the stream and they watch. So that yeah. was super cool. So if you're still, uh, if you're here, say hello. Yeah, please. We would love to see more people from the streams uh, at our shows. It always makes us very happy. We love taking pictures. And uh, I remember when I did my no-ring death match. Uh, there was a guy there who was like, yeah, I, I'm from the Discord. I just saw that you were doing this, and I just drove over. I took a cab over, and we took a video where I put over the TEW stream, and I made him say that he was a simp act, even though he was actually an e-drone. But it Everybody's matter. an e-drone. <laughs> Only if we come to the UK. We want to come to the UK. Come to Brazil. Come to Brazil. Yeah, we're flying right over the UK uh, in two weeks, yeah. sadly. I made a, I made a, latch, a last ditch uh play where i just tweeted at atlas and begged them <laughs> please just give it to me two days early please well you'll have it for the the flight back mm, yeah if the wi-fi yeah can, if i can download on the wi-fi oh like the polish hotel wi-fi yeah it's probably or the big airport game. it's probably no nah, yeah maybe yeah. i mean I don't know. Japanese devs tend to be better about compressing their games. Western devs are horrible at it. Um, yeah. Apparently somebody accidentally sent copies of Persona 3 early. I believe that. We'll send it to that. me. Yeah. To me. Uh, man, so um, we're supposed to talk about how dangerous we are. Dangerous! Oh, dangerous! Yeah, okay, chat. chat, thoughts on our new tag team finish? What do you guys w? think? W? W? Check out, and if you haven't already, check out the highlights of the uh, match. Actually, uh, I, can, I can pull debut. it up right now. Oh, let me, uh, let me. Yeah, pull let's it up watch right it. Now. We can watch it. Let's watch it. Um, can you post the link, or send me the link in the uh, on Discord? Yeah, I'll send you the YouTube link. Oh yeah, I forgot it's on YouTube. I dream of rain. Hey, hey, hey. I dream of rain. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. oh, oh. Alright, here's this. Okay. Boot! Bye bye boots! Bye bye boots! Beats. Bye bye boots! I say boots! I say fuck! What's the boots? Hey, 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 yeah, we'll do live commentary. Brent, can you stream it to me on Discord so I can I can call yeah, live? Yeah, it's probably going to mess your thing up, but it's fine. Then no, never mind. Never no, mind. no, no, it no. It, no, it'll it'll I mean, you're covered up anyway. Okay. 
I dream of rain. Yeah. All right, let's watch this shit. Okay. Hold on. Link it. Are, are you showing it on stream? On uh, no, oh. I'm I'm getting there. Max. Hey guys. Ah, Shrian. Hey, hey guys. Hope you're both well. Did you catch that? Wahlberg and Eli Drake. Is, what? What? Wahlberg. Are you talking what about you? Grayson Wahlberg? <laughs> Who's Maddie Wahlberg? Is that a Wahlberg brother? Is that uh, is that Mark the Wahlberg's lost brother? the lost one? Uh, it was almost like the Vader Undertaker interview in Kuwait. My favorite one is the one where Randy Orton like scares the shit out of some guy. I like that one. That's his indie name. I can't believe you used Grayson Waller's yeah, indie name. Like anyone knows like, what that is. All right, it's playing. How the fuck would anyone know that? Ready? That's me with my abs, as you can see. I like how you keep your mouth open. I can see your tongue. Like, <laughs> look at you. You're so zesty. You're so zesty. It's you're not zestiest. my fault. You're the zestiest straight man alive. Nice arm drag, deep arm drag. Look at them taunting. Check this spot out. Great kids, by the way. I did this exact same spot with Sheik, exposing the business. But this was cleaner. Boom. And then paid off. Boom. See that? I had them do the model spot first so that we paid it off. Yeah. That's fucking psychology. These are fucking. How are you going to explain there. psychology when it's just moves? Because you can tell a story with moves. You don't have to do it with a fucking chin lock. Of course, we actually debated on whether or not to touch it. This is a great move. Yep. I love this move. Shout out to Summer Ray. Two for flinching. Boom, boom. Took that spot for my trainers. Uh, the Stoner Brothers. Nice catch, Brennan. Good thing you didn't dislocate your shoulder. I'm real strong. Nice dive. <laughs> fucking sweet Jericho thing. Look at this bump. Look at this bump. I fucking spin. You see that barrel roll? This is great. Kai, he's super strong, this kid. He's very strong. We tease the hot tag. Look at him spin. Boom. Look at this hot tag. Like a Look at that fire. hot tag. I'm a hot tagging mother effer. Boom. Booker kick. Ripcord. Black hole. Oh. Choke slam while he has the other I'm, guy. Holy I'm definitely shit. gonna do the oh. brother of destruction. That's such a ball, baller move. Can you do a tombstone of killing the guy? Sure, I just do a split over him. Big dot split. The yeah, fuck? yeah, like I Art just attack. straddle him. I straddle him and then drop the tombstone. That was in the close. Middle. That was fucking. That was close. so close. Look at me Boom. taking moves. Boom! <laughs> Indie combo. Boom! Boom! Look at Brandon take this shit. Stunner. Into I was actually too big and got caught in the ropes. No. That was fucking sick. Oh, this sweet. looks like it hurt. Oh. Oh. oh! Check out this fucking sweet top rope elbow with the flip off. Boom! Poison Rana! I don't spike on my head because I don't know how. <laughs> Superplex! <laughs> Moon Soul! Oh, and a frog splash! That was a big kick out, but I, I didn't put it in the video. Yeah. Double cross line. See how he paid that off? That's fucking psychology. See how earlier he got... Yeah, whatever. Check out this atomic drop into a spine buster. Everybody loves oh. that. And they it's act like move. they've never seen it before. I you do, do it every it match. And then here we go. No. <laughs> We're so dangerous. People saw that move and they acted like they've never seen a brain buster before. Yeah. Like, Was that a botch? It, Was that a fucking botch? Well, it looks like, like it looks like an accident. Was that a, no? It was hundred percent on purpose. It was one hundred percent on purpose and by request. <laughs> it was, we dropped him on his fucking head because that is the point of the move. It is a goddamn brain buster. It's and a you brain buster. Uh, so everybody had different problems with it, right? Uh, some people thought that I was killing myself. Uh, stupid. So stupid. What are you? What are you, so an stupid. idiot? What are you, a moron? A moron. Um, some people thought that we were killing him. Fair. Yeah. We. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. So here's the thing. People obviously didn't watch the whole thing because we hit that move, we <laughs> win, and then they come back in and we hug them. <laughs> so obviously, he's fucking fine. But, but, good. I hope they think we killed him. Heavens good. forbid that somebody thinks a move is real. <laughs> <laughs> it's because here's the thing right um everybody thinks a brain buster is supposed to just look like a suplex it's not it's supposed to look like you dropping them on their fucking head okay and let me tell you something right now i said this is exactly what i said we call it the centerfold thank you very much it's a 
it's a neat callback to a previous gimmick we had. And it's because we, I have his feet and he has his head. So he's in the center and we fold him like an accordion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, people are so used to brain busters just being suplexes. All right. They're not fucking suplexes. Okay. If you do a brain buster, right. You can drop somebody right on their head where you protect them to the point where their head's not even touching the fucking ground. Kind of like a pile driver, that move that you guys freaking like so much. I'm exposing the business right now because fuck you. Here's why. I said this uh, in an interview that I did today. If you have a reputation for being unsafe and dangerous when you actually don't hurt anybody and everyone you you work with is totally fine, you're actually doing your job as a pro wrestler. (laughs) Like, that's the fucking point of this. You know who that is? You know who that is? That's Ooh. Brock. Yeah, true. Brock, That's everybody true. thinks, oh, it's so real. It's so dangerous. And everybody's fine yeah. magically afterwards. But listen, what people are doing, when they take a look at that move, right? And they say, oh, these fucking guys, are, are they're, how they're going to break his fucking neck. Like, this is horrible. Like, oh, no. Oh, that was a mistake. Let me tell you something right now. That is the equivalent of going up to a magician after a <laughs> magic show and saying, you could have fucking killed that woman when you put her in a box and sawed her in half. What is wrong with you? Yeah, that's the fucking point. <laughs> like, there's supposed to be danger. You're supposed to think that these people are being hurt. And I even feel bad saying this right now because I feel like I'm killing the magic, like, magic killer. I feel like I'm... I've, no, I've, hold on, hold on. Well, Babaruski, no, no. B- Brock has never murdered anybody. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> well, yes. no, to be fair... Oh no, he I'm did sure. punch. He did knee uh, brawn that one time for real. That well, that was a receipt. That was a receipt. Yeah, but All nothing, is- nothing has ever uh, except for the one time he knocked out Taker. But that's because he was old. I just think it's so funny that that people think they're authorities on what is and isn't supposed to happen. Here's what I'll always say, right? To me, a botch is not when somebody does a springboard and falls, right? Because if this was a real fight, that would absolutely happen many times. People in UFC slip and fall all the time. Yeah, we watched UFC the other day, and it looked like a a sloppy mess of guys laying on each other. To me, a botch is when somebody does a springboard, falls, and then just gets up and does it again, and the other guy doesn't do shit. You know what I mean? Like to me, or or if the guy falls and then the other guy falls because he was supposed to get bumped there. (laughs) Right. Because somebody doing a springboard and slipping and falling is not exposing the business because people slip and fall in real life. If I mark out every time I see somebody slip and fall and then the other guy just beats the shit out of him, I think that's awesome. That's exactly what would happen. But when somebody tries the same spot like three times in a row, yeah, that fucking sucks. If it looks like it, it, it could happen in real life, then it's not a botch. It's not. That's my personal opinion. I don't know. It's not supposed to look like a dance, okay? Um, no. Dance. But, Cir- Cirque du Soleil. Uh, I like dance. I, lo- I love dance. I do. I used to be a dancer myself. I did tap dancing in middle school. You tap dancing. I did. I tap dance. I didn't know this about you. I did ballroom dancing, too. You dance with balls. I went to a performing arts. Yep, I danced with balls. Uh, did I miss the move name? It's called the centerfold. Yeah. And uh, it's an assisted butterfly brain buster. That was the other uh, issue people had. Uh, they felt like you weren't doing anything. They said it's like the magic killer. Um, so I think the idea is that we place the guy's feet on my head so that I can push his legs up so that I drop him and make sure he comes straight down and not over rotate so that it just looks like a suplex yeah uh you're but more also, like you're more like guiding fuck? you're guiding my peen yeah i'm i'm guiding your proton torpedoes into their tight tight little <laughs> hole so to speak uh, assisted death rider yeah that makes sense yeah yeah i saw uh, that that makes sense uh listen all that matters is we hit it and we won like yeah. that's what you Who know cares? What I mean? like i think um I said this. I said this in the interview too. I Our was new like, close personal people... friend Santino wins with a with a snake hand. Remember when people um, were pissed off about Athena working stiff on Ring of Honor, and I was like, "What the like? What the fuck? Like, if 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 you took that exact same match and you put it in Japan, no one would be complaining. Like, how many times do I see that that video of Chelsea Green being fucking blasted in the face by a dropkick, and people go?" 
yeah, Japanese wrestling is real. <laughs> and then somebody does the exact same shit in the United States. People go, oh, this is unacceptable. This person needs to be fired. Like, what is with, is it, am I straw manning here? Like, are these not the same people? Like, is there a fan chat, of Chat, one of you's wrestling? in there. Chat, one of you's in there. Explain to me why it's okay when uh, Joshi brain each other. Is that the right term? Uh, I I don't know. That, there's definitely a use, euphemism there. Yeah. Um. But here's here's just here's my opinion. You wrestle for the crowd you're in front of. It is right? thing versus thing in Japan. So so are, would we hit that move the way we did it in WWE? No. No. Absolutely not. We'd make it a safe safe version where they land like a pillow would we do it would we do it for the freaking death obsessed fiends and dpw absolutely the the bloodthirsty demonic hordes that watch dpw yeah we're gonna drop him on his fucking head would would we do it to a uh 50 year old 30 year veteran no (laughs) are we gonna fucking do that move to randy orton the way we did it to dustin waller no the reason we did it that way to Dustin is because Dustin was like, yeah. <laughs> because he's like 21 years old. They're so young and they're so good. Um, everybody, please check out Miracle Generation. Um, uh, Dustin and Kai, these guys are fucking awesome kids. It's um, actually been my favorite thing about uh, doing these indie shows is working with like these actual kids. Um, having been the kid for so long. To be like the old guy that's yeah. like learning from like, oh yeah, what are the kids into now? They're they're all about these TikTok moves. They do stuff fast. They do stuff in um, in rapid succession. Well, to be fair, that's like our generation too, is it not? Like, isn't that just everybody? Everybody steals from the Motor City Machine Guns. Yeah, we're all just trying to be the Motor City Machine Guns, right? Like even Young Bucks stole from the Motor City. Like they're the guys. They're the fucking. That's why they're our the dream blueprint. Match, right? Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, the blueprint is, of course, Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan, m- 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 Matt, whose DNA was sent to space. Yeah. Who was your DNA sent to space? Sailor Slam Dunk. No. How do we incorporate more subway surfers into our work rate? Is it? Would it be funny to like force promoters to put subway surfers <laughs> on the on Tron? That? <laughs> Might be based. Might be based. It was actually we came up with it on the spot was to be uh, representing our Twitch stream. We should probably just say the whole link because it's more obnoxious. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, crazy that there's pro wrestlers born after 2003 signed promotions. Yeah, I remember being weirded out. Roxanne Perez had a match on SmackDown, and she was the first person in WWE history to wrestle on SmackDown as someone younger than SmackDown itself. She was born after SmackDown started. Wow. That freaked me the fuck out. So, yeah. Complete with HTTP. Yeah. Um. Yeah, DBW fucking ruled everybody. There's we got to meet the uh, Super Smash Bros, uh, Evil Uno, and Stu Grayson. So we can talk about that, we can talk about why we didn't stream anything, right? Oh, do we want to reveal this to the chat? We can right reveal now? this because it's kind of awesome. Yeah, go it's ahead. Kind of, it's kind of goaded. So uh, we didn't stream because we forgot. We went to cookout and we forgot. But uh, to make it up to you, what we decided to do was to follow through on a plan that we've had for a long time. And to utilize some of the skills that we've learned from the great uh, Austin Creed uh, on Up, Up, Down, Down by doing our own thing. And we're calling it the Bronami Code. Legally Legally distinct. distinct. And our legally distinct Bronami Code is going to start off with uh, two episodes that we filmed yesterday at DPW. And uh, our special guests. Uh, whoa, mentor. whoa, whoa! I don't well, know. We're not gonna we want to say. We don't want to say. We got very special, especially. I mean, yeah, I'm really fucking excited to show you guys this. But, we only uh, take people who can outdraw us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we got some really good brothers uh, and soon sisters, and you know everyone else uh, that we're gonna involve in this process. It's basically we're just aping up, up, down, down. We've completely yeah. stolen the format completely. Because we were going to um, set we up filmed, and play video games backstage anyway, so it's it's good, we it's filmed, good culture. Yeah, we filmed two episodes at DPW, and uh, we're very excited to show you guys uh, playing some video games. Kemonito, God, you got me. It's Kemonito. It's true. Um, good Brothers? No, it, it's not anyone in WWE. W- <laughs> what would be the point of leaving WWE 
and then saying we're going to do our independent up up down down and then just you doing it with wwe guys uh but the idea is that we are going to go to these indie shows and find all these different independent guys <laughs> and game with them and talk about their love of video games i was talking with johnny baja says i was talking with johnny after we tore everything down and he was pissed you guys didn't ask him for any mic store equipment yeah that probably would have been a good idea we also probably shouldn't have filmed right in front of uh the curtain to go out for the show <laughs> people were walking by and, and also music was blaring so the audio might be shit but it's growing pains guys we're gonna figure this out trust i me. i actually i it's all almost figured out because the only problem we had was audio which uh, will be solved because I'll be able to plug a USB audio into your iPhone next week, Mansoor. And cool. uh, I got a better stand. Better uh, you, tripod. You have a stand? A stand -o? The enemy stand could be anywhere. Yeah. So, no, we'll be, uh, we'll be straight. Will this be on a new YouTube channel or on the Insiders channel? It will be on the Insiders channel, yeah. I think, yeah. And they're relatively short, so um, I think we'll post them on Twitter too, maybe? Can we do 15 minutes on Twitter? Yeah, you can't. We're verified. Or, well, well, we pay for yeah. fucking Twitter Blue. Uh, but that's paid for itself. Yeah, no, it's true. That has... I didn't want to do it for the longest time. And then finally, we did it. And we've been getting paid for our tweets. Our zeets. <laughs> for and our I didn't think they tweets. would. Way more fucking money than YouTube. Gives and it you. just... It, I just get a text and it's just like, you've made $40 from Twitter this month. I'm so fucking hot that I didn't do that before our backshots tweet. We would have made so much fucking money. Yeah, or when we got oh, fired. If we got fired and then yes! we would have made Okay, advice to anyone in WWE who thinks they're going to get fired, pay for Twitter Blue so that whatever you tweet after you get fired that gets 10 million likes, it's going to make you a fuck ton of money. And Elon, pay us for this plug. So this is why there's constant penis jokes in it. Yep, 100%. All the euphemism shit is just to drive engagement. And you're, and and you're falling for it. Hook, line, and make sinker. Pe people in the replies go, Ayo? 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 Pause. Just, Pause. I, Pause. I hear that as ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Are we going to do the soy face thumbnails? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you monetize the Ayo's too. <laughs> Yeah, we monetized the AO. <laughs> you greedy bastards. And all the all the GIF replies. It's the same ones every time. I'm convinced that most of the world is uh, NPCs. I, as a kid, I actually did believe that the majority of people on Earth were not real humans. I don't think I don't Which, think the I don't think the world dedicates its processing power to like the entirety of the population. Uh, Cream Teamer, who edits your YouTube shorts? That would be CM Origins, the man right above you. Tremendously talented individual who edits all our videos. Uh, Is he going to edit CM, our I new thing? Yeah. Did I, you... need to, I need to upload the uh, Bronami code footage. I'm, I apologize. I haven't done that yet. I'll do that tonight. What do you mean as a kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is main character syndrome. It is. Actually, uh, you know what? I have a story for you guys. Oh, yeah? A story, and for the first time ever, it's a story that isn't from WWE. It's a story from... from uh, TNA of all places. <laughs> so, um, you guys know me, you know that I'm a little bit, um, what's the word, Brennan? Uh, diuretic. Diuretic. Is that yeah. a real word? Yeah. It makes you poop. Okay. Not the word I was looking for. I was thinking more like, um, hopeless or perhaps. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ill equipped. Um, we're at TNA, and you guys know me. You guys know that I uh, accidentally pooped in Shane McMahon's private locker room. So uh, that was something that happened. And now here we are in TNA after WWE. We're watching the show backstage, and I got to take a shit. So what do I do? I ask, where's the bathroom? And he says, uh, I need to poop. And I say to myself, and I should have said out loud, please don't make us lose this opportunity because you poop yourself out of this opportunity but i didn't say it i should have said it i knew it in my well, heart i didn't poop myself luckily i went to the bathroom <laughs> go to the bathroom go to the bathroom <laughs> no go to the bathroom has everybody seen that <laughs> no that's a great video you're shitting your pet brennan you've never seen that no i've never seen it what all right pause whiskey rob thank you for subscribing my goats thank you I'm sending you this video. We're watching it right now. Okay. 
You're shitting your pants. Mafia 3. It's a kid playing Mafia 3, and his mom comes in. Oh, I think I have seen that. All right, play this, play this for the chat. The chat needs to see it, yeah. Play this for the chat. And then we'll get back into the story. And then we'll get back into the story. You're shitting yourself. No. Okay, let's see. Ocean. Ocean, my own. Tell me when you start playing, and I'll, I'll, I'll play it on my end. Okay. No! It's playing. What? It's playing. Demetrius, oh. get off the game, go to the bathroom, and take a shit. Now. Hey. The bathroom and shit now. Hey. Go to the bathroom and take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> get off. Hey, get go it. to the bathroom. Get out. <laughs> And go to the bathroom. Down. No. No. Get up and go. To the bathroom. Not yet. What the hell? Go to the bathroom. You're shitting yourself. Not yet. Go. Not yet. What the hell? Not yet. No. I will pick everything apart. I swear to God. Go to the bathroom. Not yet. You're shitting yourself. Not yet. You're shitting yourself. Poop is coming out of your fucking asshole. Go to the bathroom. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Go to the bathroom. Poop is coming out of your asshole. Not yet. What the hell? Not yet. What the hell? Leave me alone. I don't know why it's funnier to me that he's playing Mafia Three. Like, what the fuck? Just pause. Do you remember the Katana unboxing video where the kid with glasses says it's taped? I I vaguely remember that. I I, I vaguely do. Um, no, this is real. No, he didn't upload it. I think he was streaming on Twitch and somebody grabbed the 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 clip. Anyway, Brendan was screaming at me, "Go to the bathroom! Go Poop is coming out of your asshole!" And I said, "Not yeah, no." And he said, "Go! You're shit at yourself." So I make my way to the bathroom at TNA, and um, it's very dark. There are it's these not tall. That dark. It wasn't it's that very dark. dark. There are these tall curtains, pipe and drape, that are blocking uh, the hallway from the rest of the show. So all I see, the only sources of light, are these coming from these two rooms. And the bathroom. The first room, I see a sign next to it, to the left, that says, electrical closet. I say, okay, that must be the electrical closet. The second room, I see a light coming out of it, but I don't see a sign. So I say, well, this must be the bathroom. I walk in, and sure shit, it's the bathroom, but it's just a bunch of stalls. It's like 15 stalls. And I say, oh, this must be one of those, you know, gender neutral bathrooms where anybody can go in a stall. That's come where out you were wrong because we're in Florida. Well, in California, New York, I've saw I've seen plenty of gender neutral bathrooms. So mm -hmm. I go in, I drop a steaming hot deuce. Poop is coming out of my asshole. I <laughs> eject it into the toilet. Great. Come out, start washing my hands, and um, who walks in? But a female who works for TNA. A very important female who works for TNA walks in and says, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I go, no, 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 don't worry. It's a gender neutral bathroom. And she walks out and comes back in and says, no, it's the women's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't see. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. She I said, run out. she said, no, darling, it's the women's bathroom. <laughs> I look, I look at the side, sure as shit, women's bathroom. I'm like, what the fuck? So what was the other room? I go over to the electrical closet. Nope, it's the men's bathroom. The fucking electrical closet was just like shrouded in darkness. I just didn't see it. I fucking sprint back to Brennan. I go, oh my God, Brennan. I think I fucked it. I think I fucked it up. I think I fucked it up for us. I blew it. I blew it. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, not my finest hour. Uh, this is why you can't leave me alone. You you have to escort me. Yeah, basically. I have to I have to hold his hand and walk him to the bathroom stall. Um, I'm ho I'm just hopeless. I'm just I'm just there's no hope for me. Chat, did you have any other questions about uh, the past week? Did we, did we have a big week? This was a, this is a pretty big week, big show. Um, we visited TNA, we, uh, made our DPW debut, did the rest of the TNA visit go okay? Yeah, it was awesome, everybody's really cool. 
it, it was like such a you great have so many friends there it's so it's so chill so nice yeah very cool um met some awesome people show was great uh fucking uh mahabali shara insists that he's already met me i introduced myself to mahabali I was like, hey, I'm on service. Like, brother, I know you. I was like, what? <laughs> no, we've never met. He was like, yes, we did. We were at we were at NXT house shows together. Absolute fucking bullshit. I've never met this guy. Very nice guy. Awesome guy. Great guy. Lovely. Love Shara. Big fan. But I've never met him before that. I know I never met him. And I want you guys to go on fucking cage match or whatever the fuck right now. Somebody needs to prove to me you that tagged I've with never him. met him. You said you tagged with him. I did not tag. I've never ta- I've never shared a ring with this guy in my life, ever. All right. I was signed in October of 2018. Okay. I never met this guy, and I, and he made me feel like such an asshole, saying that I forgot meeting him. Sophia, thanks so much for the subscription. I'm not a liar. I'm not lying. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, WWE fan four zero four zero. Uh, we are going to be on GCW. Uh, I'm doing GCW Friday, and then we're going to be at Effie's Big Gay Brunch Saturday. I'll be there Friday you? selling merch. Yeah, you're not going to fucking sell your own merch at the show you're not on. Why not? That's that's horrible. Do not do that. I was going to sell your merch. Oh, you can sell my merch. Yeah, you can be my girlfriend. No, I'm, no, I'm not going to sell your merch. I'm going to sell our merch. That's acceptable, too. Yeah. That I'll allow. Yeah, that that you'll allow. Yeah, I'll allow it. Do you do you know how much heat you would get if you started selling your own T-shirts at a show that it would you were be so on? based? It would be based. That's true. That's true. Do you have any WrestleMania weekend prospects yet? None that we can say right now. No. Oh. None that we can say because we're not. An, we, it hasn't been announced yet, right? I don't know. Miss Kate, Kate, Kate thank you so much. Everybody, thank check you for out her that show. Fightful money, uh, good you on youtube check out miss kayfabe show follow her on zitter did you take selling merch trips from our truth uh ron never gave us merch uh tips probably because you don't want to assume that someone's getting fired <laughs> um what else someone gift us some. gonna I'm be... a girl bb's what's that mean? can't wait for matt okada <laughs> Matt, Matt Okada. I'm going to get so many dollar off of that tweet. I'm going to get so many dollar off of that tweet. That might be a $5 tweet. That's what that's how I that's how I measure tweets now. Is in exact dollars. Yes, I did Barry Sean. Called me a uh, stooge. Um it's so funny that people think I'm a stooge cuz um uh, the, uh, Sean is the only dirt sheet guy who texted me the day we got fired. He was the only dirt sheet guy to actually try and confirm with us. Don't know how he got my number, but he did confirm with us. And for that reason, I will always appreciate him as a dirt sheet guy. Cause I've never been contacted by any other. Well, actually it's not true. Mm, yeah, I know. I someone, sure. someone did DM me one time. But it was about something that I couldn't answer, so I did Oh, yeah, when Meltzer DM'd you? Yeah, Meltzer was like, hey, what's the story with Punk and Omega? I know you're super tight with both guys. I know you yeah, guys, that one uh, time Meltzer uh, DM'd me, and he was like, hey, I heard you and Mansoor had, like, a five-star match in Paris. Can you confirm? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, uh, fa- it was probably five stars, maybe six, but... Fawful says, I think Cage Match might have just outed Manny as a liar. Post that shit right fucking now. Post <laughs> yes. it on the same show. Yeah. I'll fucking. I'll, you I'll need to publicly ass. apologize. You need to publicly apologize on Twitter to Mahabari Shira. Brennan faced Shira. I don't give a fuck if Brennan did. Yeah. Was we're not the I same on, person. Was I on the same show? I know. I know Shira. Let's see it, Fawful. Okay. He posted the cage match link. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm on. Oh no. Let's go. Oh my God. Publicly apologize. I faced him and you were on the show. We drove together. I knew it. Oh my God. This is my first ever NXT show. I know it. I wrestled Ridge Holland. This was Crystal River Mm -hmm. in front of like a hundred people. Yeah. Like nobody was there. 
Holy shit. Apologize. That was Shara? Apologize. Oh my fucking God. Mahabali, I'm so sorry. Everybody clip Holy this shit. and send this to him. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mahabali. I apologize profusely. Yeah, it just got proven that we were on the same show together. I have met you. I should not have introduced myself. I feel horrible. Holy fucking shit. I just, I, <laughs> the main event of that show was Fabian Eichner versus Raul Mendoza in a yeah. two out of three falls match. I remember for 24 that. minutes. We had to run out and catch uh, Fabian, and he I think he brained himself. What were they cooking? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at this card. Mind you, this is well before either of them were on TV. <laughs> well before. this is So for those who don't know, Fabian Eichner is Giovanni Vinci, and Raul Mendoza is Cruz del Toro. But this is way before any of them were on TV. And the main event was a 24-minute, two out of three falls match holy it was shit. like a grudge match like they were doing matches all over the all over the loop well they're awesome yeah and then they did a two out of three falls in front of nobody in crystal river yeah i never wanted to be the guy that forgot that i met people so i, I do now i feel horrible <sighs> i am an asshole well you know what they say if what i'm hearing is true poor shira <laughs> <laughs> You know what they say? I'd rather be an asshole than um, an ass. What is what is he saying? Is that Mr. I'd Kennedy's rather be an... uh, catchphrase? Asshole. Uh, no, what's the line? I'd rather be an an ass than a. I'd rather be a dick than an asshole. What, what the fuck does he say? Is, is this what? Who? Oh, I'd rather be a dick than a swallower. <laughs> is that the line? I'd There's rather be a dick swallow. than a swallower. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, I guess it doesn't. That's not what I'm trying to say. Don't feel bad. I legitimately don't remember my tag match with Two Cold Scorpio, and he was my trainer. Zim the Invader, you're a wrestler. Who are you? Dox yourself. Now. Reveal yourself. <laughs> rather be an asshole than a whole ass. I'd rather be a tight little pink <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Novel AI. Yeah, reveal, reveal thyself. Reveal yourself. That you've wrestled so many people that you don't remember that you wrestled with two cold Scorpio. Shara is crying now. This can't be happening. I remember when he'd say asshole on TNA, but they'd censor it, but only the whole part. So he goes ass. Ass. Why is whole the one, the part you can't say asshole on TV. Yeah. You can say ass. You can say, and you can say whole, but you can, but then why is ass not censored? If ass is the swear. All right, whatever. It's too graphic. Dude's assholes stay getting in trouble. Yeah, it's true. My asshole has put me in a lot of positions of danger. You're here to support us pounding some bussy? Yeah, we're going to pound some puss. Did you read the comments on Brennan's cage match page? The top comment. The tallest yet most handsome man to ever grace <laughs> maximum male models. <laughs> My hole. My hole. What the fuck, Zim the Invader? Why are you not doxing yourself? Dox yourself. Post your cage match profile right fucking now. <laughs> What's your goddamn name? What's your best match? Have you worked Dijack? Playboy MJ, thank you for subscribing. You can't say TNA. Or you can't say TNA on TV. <laughs> you can't say holy shit on TV. All right, because NXT's been doing that, where they censor shit. Cage match rating now. Is it better than Manny? No, I think I'm like a 6.5. That's not bad for somebody that nobody like cares about. It's honest. Uh, yeah, I'm a 6.6. Um, oh, people were really mad about Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I'm looking at these old ones. All right, I'm 6.6. Cage match. Mason D. Madden. I bet you're like a 6.4. Come on. Come on. Brennan, you are. Come on. A 6.67. Let's go! 
<laughs> bullshit. I'm the work rate member of the team. That's bullshit. I'm 0.07% I, better. I, I cannot stand people who vote based on booking. Some of these comments drive me fucking crazy. Ugh. Where it's like, Woo! yeah, like, hasn't really been put in a position to shine. Four out of ten. Like, well, whose fault is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Very bizarre. What's uh, what's God's cage match rating? God, there's no chance God's on cage match. If he's not, then cage match has no sense of humor. I mean, Seth Rollins used to call himself God. No. God is not on cage match. Sorry. Cage match, you suck. Yeah. Well, let me try and find the worst rated wrestler on cage match. It's probably like Khali. somebody who's pretty good. I'm gonna rate. I'm gonna say Great Kali. Two point two three. No, no chance. That's the lowest. Chat. Uh, throw out names who you think would be the worst. Bastion Booger. Tyrus. Tyrus. Tyrud. All right. Kali is two point two three. Tyrus is two point nine zero. Not the worst. Not the worst. Zim Damascus was is my wrestling name. Are you Arab? Or did you just uh appropriate Damascus? Are are you Atil are you Italian? Are you Italian? Are you Muhammad Hassan? I wrestled for two years. I was trained by Too Cold and Mercury. Oh, that's cool. You did a New Japan tryout? Oh nice. Giant Gonzalez. Oh, very cool. Most of my matches are on cage match. Yeah, I had that experience when I was in the Indies too. I found out I had a match with Too Cold. What the fuck? How do you forget that? Before signing to WWE, my most notable match was tagging with uh, Super Crazy. I don't think I... Jenna Maraska. I was just thinking about... Um, like, obviously, it's hard to remember everybody whose hand you shook at a wrestling show. Like, like right. you failed to remember that you know, personally, Mahabharshira. But um, in terms of, like... Because we were talking to Dreamer about, like, guys forgetting who they had matches with. Mm -hmm. I can pretty confidently remember everybody I've had a match with. Like, if you put somebody in front of me and ask me if I had a really? match with them, I feel like. Okay, I'll quiz you right now. If I've ever had a match with someone? Match. Yeah, I'll go to your cage match right now. Your, your measly three pages of matches because <laughs> you were signed uh, pretty early. Um, okay, so am I just giving you a name and you're going to say yes or no if you wrestle them? Yeah. Okay, fine. Have you ever wrestled? Ah, this is tough. Chat, give me names. The have booty man. The booty, the big bad booty daddy. Uh, have you ever, give me like NXT names, Mansoor. Have you ever wrestled me? <laughs> He's like half of my, uh, my highlight video. Of course I've wrestled Kona Reeves. <laughs> who yeah, who course. hasn't wrestled Kona Reeves? A million fucking times. Uh, no, I know he's wrestled Roddy. He knows. Have you ever wrestled Johnny Gargano? No. That is... Correct. Have you ever wrestled? Um, God, these NXT house shows are brutal because you wrestle the same people over yeah, and over. Yeah, no, over. I've Have wrestled you ever wrestled Jeet. Chris Hero? Yes, I wrestled Chris Hero in um. What's the first letter of the place where I wrestled Chris Hero? <laughs> v. V. Yeah, V. Venice. That's correct. I wrestled Chris Hero in Venice right before I went back to reality of wrestling for a show. Have you ever wrestled uh, Sam Shaw, Dexter Loomis? Yes, plenty. Yeah, you only have three pages here. Have you ever wrestled Biff? Yes. When? Uh, Jacksonville? Singles? Yep. Oh, wow. It was a good match. I believe you. 
Have you ever wrestled Tino Sabatelli? Yes. When? Um. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Tino think... Sabatelli, one half of the Alpha Alpha Couple podcast. I think I wrestled Tino and Riddick in a tag match with Baba Tunde. Wow. That's a fucking match. And I remember uh, this because I think... I don't think, see it, but... I think uh, Tino got hurt mid-match and it went off the rails. Huh. I don't see it, but I believe you. Pete Dunn? No, you never worked Pete. Pete no, Dunn. I never worked Pete. You ever wrestle no. Boogs? Yes. I have a picture of uh, my handprint on his chest. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, you ever wrestle Jonah? Oh. Uh, Bron Bronson Reed. I don't think so. Wrong! Wrong! I did? Wrong! Brendan Williams and Swerve defeat Brendan Vink and uh, Jerma Jonah. What? Got your ass. Largo, you and Swerve wrestled Duke Hudson and Bronson Reed. Yeah. What? Yep, that happened. Yep. <laughs> Is that blowing your mind? That's blowing my mind. That's crazy. And that wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> it was 2019. What was Duke Hudson and Jonah doing together? They're Australian. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they were in TMDK together. Yeah, I know, but still, like, I don't remember that ever happening here. Have you ever wrestled? Um, st stop giving me indie name. Oh, ACH. Have you wrestled ACH? Yeah, yeah, I did on a um, PC live. Oh, does that count? I don't think it would have be. Have you on ever cage wrestled? Match, but I did. Have you ever wrestled Cal Bloom? Yes. This is my first match back after commentary. Wow. Fuck. Um, what is this? Dio Madden defeats Ridge Holland by DQ in Ocala? Ridge Holland by DQ? I don't remember by why. By DQ? At a house show? WWE NXT title. Adam Cole defeats Dio Madden by DQ? What the fuck? I wrestled Cole. What is a this? Times. A singles match for the belt? Yeah. How did this happen? I don't know. It was like one of the only times I ever got to wrestle somebody who was like <laughs> <laughs> experienced. <laughs> By DQ, oh, it turned into a match with Keith, a tag match. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh, a yeah. that was on a road loop. It was, yeah. Trevor yeah. Lee. I don't think I wrestled Trevor. Cameron Grimes. You never wrestled Trevor. I don't think so. Let me see. Cameron, no. Trevor. No, never wrestled Trevor. No, I definitely wrestled Reddick. I definitely wrestled. Uh, I wrestled Lars. I can't believe you had a two and a half minute match with Finn Balor on Raw. Like what the? Like how the fuck did that happen? I know. That's so random. That's so unbelievably random. Austin Crane. Have you wrestled Austin Crane? Who's Austin Crane? He's the guy who squashed on main event. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I remember because they kept calling him Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Austin. Austin. No, he never wrestled. Actually, Zim, <laughs> Brennan has wrestled John Cena. I have wrestled John Cena. That's true. Do you want to tell that story, Brennan? Um, we were, it was me and Dijak. We were backstage. We had a match on the show, I believe. Um, and uh, Freebird comes up to us and like, hey, uh, you guys uh, are wrestling uh, Riddle and Cena in the dark main. And I was like, oh, wow. Well, okay. And, uh, yeah, we called the whole match. I think Mansoor interrupted to introduce himself. And uh, John Cena looked at him like he was a rude bastard. Yeah. Because we were in the middle of calling a match, a very important dark main event match that Mansoor decided to interject himself into. I'm sorry that I wanted to fucking introduce myself and shake hands after that fiasco in Saudi Arabia where everybody <laughs> hated me. He goes, he, he Manny is like, hey, sir, I, I, I'm Mansoor. And uh, John's like, that's your Manny? That's that's your impersonation of me? Yeah. What, what's okay. your impersonation of you? Uh, 
Ahem. Okay, hold on. Let me actually think about it. Because like, there's there's two there's two me's. There's two. No, you, this is the you this is the you. Yeah, this is you with the mask. Nicest guy you ever met and twisted fucking psychopath. Yeah, everybody's right, saying it's spot on. Hey, John. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. Yeah, that's My what you Monsoor. said. That's exactly what you said. That's how I sound when I'm like trying. And then he leaves, and then John looks at us like. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I had the audacity to introduce, and I apologized for interrupting. God forbid. See, I'm fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, chat. Like, I can say hello and introduce myself to someone, and I'm an asshole, or I cannot, and I'm an asshole. There are two so wolves great. inside you. Neither of them know which toilets are okay to poop in. <laughs> <laughs> Unfucking believable. Ah, <sighs> our boss is uh, messaging me right now. Which boss? My your wife? I'm not allowed to put him over. Uh, DPW management. Oh, what does he say? He's putting us over for the belts. Yeah, that's the plan right now. Yeah, we're winning the belts. Yeah, he's just talking about how much us winning the belts is going to really elevate his brand it's, and the uh, yeah. promotion. It, it, when you think about it, if he's approaching it from a uh, DP or a TEW my, DPW TEW mindset, uh, what better feather in the cap is it as a uh, TEW promoter to take an act that failed elsewhere and turn them into like your top guys, right? That's true. That's, that's you true. with uh, that's you with Muslim Mage, really. That's me. Whoa! Hold on a second. <laughs> Christian was very successful. Okay, like eight Not times that tag point. champ. Not at that point. I see. Ch- yeah, yeah, tag champ. Um. Y- y'all want to do a game for cage match where we guess a wrestler's rating? I I like that idea. Okay, chat. Throw out wrestlers' names, and me and Brennan will guess the rating, and then I'll reveal live on stream what the rating is. Throw them out, any names whatsoever, and we'll guess anyone. Roman Reigns, I'm going to say Cage Match, they're smarks. They're not going to give him a 10. 7, 7.9. I'll go ah. with... Uh, no, what's your guess? I'll give him an 8.2. And chat, don't fucking give us the answer, okay? Don't look it up yourself. I'm going to look. Okay, I'm going to go 7.9. And I feel like, I feel like it was probably two. like, it was probably low to start. It got really high, and then it probably like petered out, and it's probably somewhere around an eight. Roman's cage match rating is seven point one. Wow, you guys are freaking haters! Wow, you guys are haters. I mean, you have to consider that like most of his run, people hated him. So yeah. wow, that's it's, it's really a real low. uphill battle. He, they only loved him for what three years? Three years, yeah, since the pandemic. And now they kind of hate um, him again. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I see Carlito. 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 What are we thinking for Carlito? I'm gonna say seven. I'd say seven. Seven six. Seven two. Seven point six for Carlito. Mm. Brennan says seven point two. It is six point nine. Nice. It's nice. Nice. That's a good score. That's where I'd like my score to be. I want my score to be that. Can we up my score so we can both be 6.9, please? Uh, Ethan Carter the second. I thought okay. it was the third. <laughs> Who's Ethan? Is that his dad? I don't think he's on cage match. <laughs> Who is he? The, Ethan Carter the second? Uh, Gangrel. Ethan Carter Jr. Gangrel's got to be like a 6.1. I, I don't know how they. I don't know how they rate like uh, old guys. I think 6.1 for Gangrel. Brennan? Um, 5.5. Wow. Okay, here we go. Gangrel? I'm just trying, I, don't, I just don't want to do 6 like you. I say 6.2. 5.57. Let's go. Right on the oh, money. Shit. Right on the money. Bang it and bang it. Wow, okay. Um, next up, we got Ryback. I'm gonna say uh, four. I'm gonna say three. I'm gonna say three. Feed. And it's mo- And I'm, I'm gonna say it's mostly people shitting on him after he was done wrestling. You say four? Yeah. 
I say three. He has a 4.96. Wow. Almost five. That's actually, I'm, I'm actually surprised. And people remember him fondly. Funaki. Um, hmm. That's tough. I'm going to say 6.2. I'll go 6.5. Five point three. What? No respect. Wow, no fucking respect, eh? Give him some points for commentary. Come on. Vince mm-hmm. McMahon? Oh shit. That could be fucking anything. It could be literally anything. It could be a ten, um, it could be a one. Uh, uh cause like it's people rating him based on work booking, rate? uh as a as a human being, but also as like a promo, as a character. Fuck. Um, I think it's a Vince- five one. McMahon, I'm going to say six. Eight point two three. He's better than Roman? Holy shit. Uh, guys, you heard it here first. Vince McMahon is a better wrestler than Roman Reigns. <laughs> to the cage wow. Like, why did they why did they let that guy go? This is I'm like shocked. Why is so cage two, match based? Two hundred and ninety-two tens only 12 zeros i'm actually i'm like legitimately shocked I, that's why i like thought how, it would be fives i thought it would be a bunch of people voting 10 and zero right 10 <laughs> and zero i that's so strange to me huh is he is he higher than tony tony has a cage does he has a match yeah, for, for sure okay vince is 8.23 tony is 6.03 oh. i'm like is it cage match supposed to be like an aw mostly fan like and only one huh. of them is gonna know what cage match is. That's so. That's I'm actually shocked. Um, Sandman, Sandman's got to be a seven, burn, burn. right? Because um, people love Sandman, but I'm sure there's some smart marks who are like, he wasn't actually a good. He wasn't wrestler. actually a technical good rock. Um, actually, he wasn't uh, the most proficient Mac technician. The white Russian leg sweep is actually not really a Russian leg sweep. Uh, uh, the it is assisted with a weapon. Uh, I just got it white Russian. I I didn't know that. That's funny. You didn't get that? Uh, I'm going to say 7 for Sandman. I'm going to go with 6.5. Sandman is 6.54. Survey says? You're fucking killing it. Effie rating. Uh, we're, we're rating. Uh, we're uh, guessing cage match ratings. Let's guess Effie's cage match rating. Um... Well, to me, he, he's a ten. To me, he's a ten. He's to me, a 10. he's a ten. To the the no smelly... pussy's gonna get us. Do not say pussies. No, we're Listen, gonna pound that. Bussy. The only thing that's gonna get pounded is some bussy on Saturday morning. We're <laughs> Saturday morning bussy. Wow, that's... Saturday morning bussy. Are you gonna be able to okay. wrestle at noon? No, I'm gonna be fucked up. <laughs> he's gonna be knackered. <laughs> Effie, let me tell you something right now, okay? You're raiding us right now. The only thing we're going to be raiding on Saturday is bussy. Is your bussy. We're going to be drilling bussy I'm gonna so take hard. The, I'm going to take this fist, and I'm going to drive it all the way up in bussy. I mean, it's going to be – we're going to just be descending into that cavernous dark hole that resides inside you. And I know and I said conclude. on Twitter that I didn't want it to be a messy bussy pounding, but I'm going to pound that bussy, and I don't care if it makes a mess. I, it might make a mess. You might be. Uh, uh, we might even cause bleeding. There might be blood all over the place from the pound. There might be a out. rupture in that bus. <laughs> there might be. I mean, I, we're we're gonna turn you inside out. Effie says I'm gonna be drained of blood and delusional and ready to take a beating. <laughs> Don't oh, threaten yeah, me with a good time. <laughs> well, he's wrestling. Um, he's wrestling Manser, which is funny that his name is Manser because um, that's what Southern is your Mansor. Me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, no, sorry, Mance Warner, my bad. All right, is Mance <laughs> short for Mance Warner? Did you, did you just combine his names? I might have just combined his name. Um, <laughs> you don't know Mance that you're going to bleed, Mance. Effie. Yeah, you might not bleed. You might you kick might, his you ass. Might you might just kick his ass. <laughs> you might you squash, might squash him. him. You might fucking squash him. It's country for Mance Warner. Yeah, that's, <laughs> does, wait, do people call him Mance or am I making that up? I'm, I swear to God I've heard him called Mance or, or am I confusing my own name with Mance Warner? <laughs> Just always thinking about yourself. Yeah, yeah. I call Lance Archer Lancer. Lancer! 
Oh, Manser. Yeah, he calls himself Manser. He calls himself Manser. Okay, okay. Calls okay. Himself Manser. okay good. For a second, I thought this was a Mahabali Shara situation. <laughs> where you were wrong? Yeah, where I was being a disrespectful cunt. <laughs> Lancer. I'm not, I don't think I'm the main character. I really don't. It's you not, do think uh, you're Narcissus. the main character. L Lance Archer, guess his uh, cage match rating. Um, seven, eight. Whatever it is, it's too low. But I'm going to, uh, because he, he had a run in TNA and WWE where, you know, he wasn't used well. And then but he wrestles in Japan, and this is cage match. All right, I'm going to say eight. I'm going to say eight. You're going to say eight. I'm going to say eight. I'm going you're high. Gonna, you're going to go two above me, point two above me. 6.10? Oh, that's disrespectful. Cage match. Come on. Cage match. Do what better. Be better, cage match. It's because he's tall. They fucking hate tall guys. They hate, they hate <laughs> us. Violent J. <laughs> okay, Violent J. I'm going to say 1.8. Hey, <laughs> Violent J teamed with Bussy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's an honorary Bussy. Um, I'm going to give him a what? three... 420! Yeah, let's go! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, I say 1.8. You say 4.2. He is a 3.08. That's actually... I'm actually shocked. I mean, he's... Somebody just give him a 10! Recently, NWA has given Violent J an opportunity to shine, and he has flourished. That's because he's his been in, in, in insane clown bussy like for three matches now. <laughs> his run in NWA alongside the Brothers of Funstruction has not only elevated himself, but also the brothers to new heights. Only this sounds like a TEW report. <laughs> this sounds like AI. This sounds like ChatGPT wrote this shit. You're telling me he's a 10 out of 10 because he elevated the Brothers of Funstruction? First of all, not true. I when this reviewer says he has elevated them to new heights only others could dream of, I'm sh I'm confident that Violent J peaked much earlier than <laughs> NWA. <laughs> All due respect, I'm pretty sure that he was a fucking megastar in the '90s, right? He still is, and he's got a furry uh, child. Abyss, way too low. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's gonna be too low, but I'll say seven. I'll say seven point three. If it's if it's below seven, then be I'm gonna be pissed because I'm gonna, they I'm just gonna, hate tall guys. I'm gonna invade Germany. All right, seven point three. Seven point three nine. Okay. 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 Still too low, but too low. We're 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 trying to guess here. That's real, by the way. Brothers of construction are clowns. I'm gonna look at these guys. The brothers of construction. <laughs> I, I want to see a tag team called the Brothers of Construction. <laughs> Effie, gonna, is that is that something? That's gonna be us. <laughs> against Bussy? No, against Bussy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and they're like old they're like old style clowns, like hobo like clowns. You know oh, they're about? like they're like where the like beard sad is painted clowns? on. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're like sad clowns. I like that a lot, actually. That's great. All right, let's finish up. Let's wrap things up. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Uh, thanks for joining us, Chad. Um, we're doing TW on Thursday. That, that's what you say. Um, and then Friday Ooh, we're gonna be say? going to Tampa. Friday and Saturday, check us out at GCW. Or uh, and Saturday at we're the, uh, at the Russell Rumble. At Mega Rans Russell Rumble Friday, I'll be pounding. Um, Tony Deppin's bussy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, as always, what do we say? Keep it loose. What's our catchphrase? <laughs> well, they haven't seen it yet. Do you hit them with your Allah. favorite pose? A stuck for the law. A stuck for the law. Hit them with your favorite pose and keep it loose. Uh, chat, too many of you want to raid.